Shalom, or praise the Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rakal, Kazdash, the one that's the apostle of that great millstone. And this is uh, going into Issachar, and how Esau destroyed um, the Azteca civilizations and literally burned, like, like deconstructed their cities and stuff. And you know, they got a water crisis going on, and um, pretty much Esau is the cause of that. But uh, I'm just going to play the, the information. Elopolis apart is also its biggest challenge. It is the largest city on earth without direct access to a significant body of water. Although that wasn't always the case. This is an examination of Mexico City and the water crisis that threatens its continued prosperity. Nearly seven centuries ago now, the Aztecs came across an island in the middle of a lake in a vast valley more than 2,000 meters above sea level, hundreds of kilometers from the nearest coast. 300 years later, a small group of Spanish explorers led by Hernán Cortés arrived and what they found was a thriving capital city, the heartbeat of the Aztec Empire with 300,000 souls. It was called Tenochtitlan and it amazed the Europeans. Its labyrinth of canals dividing a network of man-made islands reminded them of Venice and they wanted it for themselves. There in the center of the lake was this gleaming white city. It was something they had never seen before. And for us, we could almost imagine as Dorothy looking at the, uh, you know, at Oz for the first time. It was far larger at uh, a quarter of a million people than any city they had ever seen in Europe. Armed with superior weaponry and the most powerful exterminating agent, disease, the Europeans wiped the Aztecs out and systematically dismantled their great temples and pyramids. Then they set out to quickly build the most renowned city in the Americas. They rejected the Aztec way of living harmoniously with the land and instead filled their canals, destroyed their floating farms and drained water from the lake until it was completely empty. This set the city on a collision course with nature. Over time it has grown to cover the entire lake bed and well beyond. And because two volcanoes, one of them still active, loom over the city from the south, the soil is a mix of clay from the lake and volcanic rock. That's an unusual foundation to build a sprawling, heavy, concrete jungle on. And it's why the city is sinking. But people keep on arriving, because the defining feature of Mexico City is centralism, the idea that all paths lead here. What used to be trails converging on grassy highlands became dirt roads used by carts and donkeys loaded with goods and are now the arterial roads that move millions. The explosion of Mexico City's population, like other megalopolises around the world, follows the widespread adoption of the motor vehicle. In 1950, its population... So as you said, <clears throat> you know, they, they went into a lot there, and, um, you know, Esau destroyed them. Um, he, he, their city was advanced and all. I mean, you heard it for yourself, and Esau pretty much you know, under these conquistadors, whatever, they came over there. Cortez, what's going on with this screen? Yeah, I'm not playing up. Yeah, um, he drained their waters. <laughs> you know, I mean, who does that? You know, he drained the waters out. He, he did all types of things, man. You just, you, you, you heard it for yourself. Now, this is playing up. I'm clicking. All right. And he, um, he, you know, he, he said it was a harmonious land and and all of this, and he just destroyed it. He, how are you gonna drain out the waters, bro? He was hating, he was a hater, bro. Which we know it was all set up in for the prophecies. But Esau's the devil, man. I'm not, if you heard what he said, I don't really have to go back over it. It's just like a quick vid, but I mean, let me read this, John 10 and 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and they might have it more abundantly. Okay. Um. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Okay, he curved the faces of the judges of rough. If not, where and who is he? And um, that's what you saw pretty much has destroyed everything. He's known as the wicked man. The earth is in his hand. And, you know, one thing, you know, they said in there that is that they used to have, um, they used to walk on the earth and have trails on the earth. And you saw dog all that up and put whatever concrete there, whatever, which is bad for your, 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 your joints, your back. You know, there's just so much things that this this devil does that is just ridiculous, bro. And and w which is what he shall he shall pay for. 
and you know, you know, you go into Isakar, they had all them, sh you know, there was, I mean, you know what, um, let me get it quickly. I wasn't gonna, I'm not gonna go too in depth in this or nothing, but uh, let me go to Chronicles. <clears throat> Right, um, First Chronicles twelve thirty two, and the children of Issachar, as also the Aztecs, is Yashakar, were men that had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do. The heads of them were two hundred, and all the brethren with their commandment. So, um, you know, you you, you pretty much had the, the Issacharites, but they're known for the, the Aztecs are known for their time in the mines, for their time system and stuff, and many different arts and stuff that they had because you know you had the Aztec is going all the way down you know down that land down there to um, Guatemala and stuff so so you know like I said man Esau came over there and destroyed it you know Esau is just the devil that the scripture speaks of now they're saying they've got a water crisis over there and they have to deliver water to each house you know according to this documentary you know so they're all jacked up. Now it's said that they built their society around clean rivers. And he sort of drained them rivers and fucked shit up. You know? So he really he really did a number on the Israelites. Cause here it is. You can have people in slavery, but this man doesn't even want you to have clean water to drink. And then they're calling you illegal aliens for trying to get through the water. <laughs> it's ridiculous, bro. They want to own was 3.1 million. As paved highways became more common, it jumped to 5.5 million by 1960, then nearly tripled to 14 million inhabitants by 1980. This boom has exacerbated the city's two most urgent challenges, bringing in enough water for 21 million people, while simultaneously sending away the millions of liters of wastewater they produce each day. The city is failing on both fronts. Now, it goes, all goes back to Esau. We just watched it now. One thing I gotta say, that bro, is that when you check it out, um, it even said that um, oh, it's just slipped my mind. Um, man, it's still my mind, man. Oh yeah, they deconstructed their cities, so they rebuilt that whole area. They actually went there and destroyed temples, destroyed houses. So a lot of the archaeology and stuff, you got ruins and all that, but. And see, that's what Esau does. Oh, you used that never had. No, you that you damn right we had things. Esau just destroys it, bro, and builds his stuff up there. And that's in the scriptures too. So, I mean, anyway, with that, I'm gonna say shalom, you know. <laughs>